Balthus? Astra is an agent that doesn't get much playtime in Valorant, at least in ranked she doesn't. While she struggles to get any kind of spotlight in ranked play, she's one of the top picks on most maps in pro play. If she's one of, if not the best controller in the game alongside Viper, why doesn't she get the same love in ranked? The three reasons I think players are not picking Astra in the ranked games is 1. Teamwork, 2. Communication, and 3. Agent Difficulty. Ranked is a different beast compared to pro play and it is rare to find even one of these if you're lucky. So does that mean you shouldn't play her at all? I am of the belief that if you sharpen your skills with an agent, almost any pick is viable in ranked. Dare I say even Yoru in some cases. Maybe wait till his rework though. That being said, let's go over 10 things all Astra players need to know before picking up the agent. I'm chill and without wasting any more of your precious time, let's get into it. Number 1. Use the minimap more often to see where enemies are and reactively place stars for your teammates. As a controller agent, you will often play back behind your teammates to set them up for sight takes or defensive support. On attack, this means that your teammates will often have first contact with the defenders. This allows you to utilize your minimap to activate your stars. In this clip, you will see me look at my minimap several times and I can use the info to activate my smokes and gravity well for the players on site. Although my teammates lost their fights, the support I provided gave them all the opportunity they needed. Number 2. Recall for a fast smoke and then normal smoke right after to extend the duration of it. This works for a couple different reasons. The initial recall smoke can make the attackers pause thinking it's a normal smoke. Placing an actual smoke immediately after will further delay the attack and deter them from advancing through. In this clip, Sentinel's player Zoms can now rotate towards ramp knowing that the sage wall is still intact and if broken, his smoke further delays the push. Number 3. Activate abilities in astral form to save time. To be clear, there is no time difference when placing and activating one or two stars while in astral form versus coming out of astral form and then activating, if done quickly. However, when placing down three or more stars in a fast take, it can be significantly faster to activate them while in astral form. Here is an example of the difference in time between astral form activation and non-astral form activation. In the first example, coming out of astral form, it took me 3.2 seconds. Now let's take a look at the actual form example. Pretty significant difference, almost a full second faster. That second might not seem like much, but it could be the difference in your teammates living and dying during a fast sight take. Number 4. Use Cosmic Divide more effectively. You either want to use your wall for taking a site, holding a site after planting, or retaking on defense. Here is an example from the VCT Sentinels vs G2 match. In this match you'll see some cheeky plays out of G2 after Avova put up a wall to split A site. Avova's timing is perfect as he comes out of the astral form and kills sick while the wall goes up. Now Avova plays up against Cosmic Divide so he can block 10s while holding anyone crossing over. It works perfectly and G2 secure the round. Number 5. Use Gravity Well over Concuss 9 out of 10 times. Gravity Well is just a better ability, it makes enemies vulnerable, throws off their aim, and just has more utility like pulling diffusers off spike. I would really only use Nova Pulse in areas where you know an enemy is trapped or if it's your only available ability when an enemy is diffusing spike. The Concuss will either force them out of that spot or they'll have to eat the Concuss in which case you have an easy kill. If you ever watch Astra players at a high rank or in pro play, more often than not you will see them use Gravity Well over Nova Pulse. Number 6. Have a default setup for each map on defense. You can do a wide range of things here, but from what I've seen in high level play, most players will start with a smoke and gravity wall combo at the site they are defending and use the other stars reactively on other areas of the map. You can also use all stars in common smoke and gravity wall areas throughout the map during the buy phase to have a defense ready to go in preparation for anything the attackers throw at you. The basic idea is that you want to have some stars in your reserves as needed and use some early in the round to prevent fast takes at your site. Number 7. Use gravity well in front of smokes if enemies push through. This is a good setup because the enemy won't see the stars beyond the smoke, and if they're playing in the smoke you have the chance to pull them out. It also delays an enemy push on a fast attack if enemies sage wall and push through your smoke. This is why gravity well is your best friend. In this clip you can see C9 Mel use this in textbook fashion. Number 8. On attack, try not to set up your stars in a way that telegraphs where you're going. You want to make sure you don't use all of your stars when pushing a site, so you have stars in reserve for the defender's retake attempt. Set up 2 or 3 stars in areas where you will be attacking and either recall them to use when you reach the other site, or smoke to fake going to one site and rotate. Number 9. 
When using Cosmic Divide to take sight on attack, use two stars for smoke and gravity well and use your ult as the other smoke for multiple angles. Place remaining stars in smoke spots and where the bomb is to suck off the diffuser. If you have enough stars, use a gravity well in front of a smoke to further delay the retake, which you can see Zoms use during this near flawless A rush. Number 10. Communicating in a team-based game is important. Unfortunately, that communication isn't always there. The important thing to remember as Astra in terms of comms is to let your team know what you're doing with your abilities and when you're going to use them. Even if your team is quiet, chances are they are listening to you. You don't have control over them comming, but you do have control over what you comm. When the team is ready, place your stars on the site you're attacking. Tell them you're going to ult and if you have a gravity well for the diffuser so they can play their life as I do here. Right, soccer. You don't have to challenge. I let the Cypher know that if the Sage taps bomb, he doesn't need to reveal himself. The Cypher jiggle peeks the diffuser and I push up to catch the Sage off guard. This is just one of the many ways you can communicate with your team to easily win rounds. And for our bonus tip, Astra's unique ability to float above the ground in astral form allows for some galaxy brain plays like this one-way hiding spot. If you suspect an attacker push, activate the one-way and go into astral form. The enemy team will walk right by completely unsuspecting of you. I hope you guys found these Astro tips helpful. If you did, hit that good looking sub button, drop a like. Let me know why you think Astro Suck is your favorite ability in the comments, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.